Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo Academy, the show where we teach you how to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So if you want to get that, make sure you stay until the end. Also, if you want to follow me along and do the edit on your own computer, make sure that you jump into the description, click on the link there and download the sample files. Also, if you do not own Luminar Neo, make sure you use the link in the description together with the discount code so you can get the best deal on your new purchase. And finally, we would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily create dual lighting effect directly in Luminar Neo. For this effect, we're going to be using the toning tool as well as masking. And even though the result will not be as complex as when it's created in Photoshop or other similar photo editing software, we're going to have a lot of fun creating it. So as you can see, we are in Luminar Neo and we are in a catalog module. We are looking at our sample files, which reminds me that if you want to follow me along, and do the edit on your own computer, just jump into the video description, follow the link there and download the files from our Dropbox account. Now we have the images ready and let's just quickly have a look at this one. Now for this effect to work, you need two things. Ideally, you're going to have a darker background, just like you see here. And a second, probably more important thing is that your subject should be lit with two sources of light. Just like on this example here, you have a light coming from this direction bringing a light on his face and at this part of the jacket and another light from behind bringing a light on this part of his head the face and also this part of the jacket so again two things will make your life easier darker background and the two sources of light now we're done with this so again let's select the image and let's bring it into the edit module so in the edit module again we're going to be using the toning tool it's located on our main toolbar in the creative section. So let's right click on the toning tool and click on add to favorites. This way we get it to the top of our list and it's going to be nice and handy. We can open it by clicking on it and we have it ready for the editing. So what we're going to do here, we're going to turn this light coming from the left into the blue and we're going to turn this light coming from behind and from the right into the red. So let's start by turning this light to the blue. So coming back to our toning tool and just follow me on this. Amount to 100. Now we can choose between shadows and highlights. However, we're going to adjust both of them. So we can start with the highlights, saturation to 100. And now we're going to use the hue slider to adjust the hue of the light. So we're looking for a blue. So let's just go to something we like. And that's about it for here. Then into the shadows, saturation to 100 and bring the hue to the nice and blue. So something like this. Now looking at it, it's a little bit too strong. So we can come back to our amount slider here and just bring the slider down until we get the result we like. So that's about it for the blue. So now we can close and apply this effect to the image and we open it again and we're going to bring the red from here. So again, amount to 100, saturation to 100 and the hue towards the end where we start to get the color we like. Now I like the kind of red purple color. So something like this. Again, switch to the highlights, saturation to 100 and the hue to the point you like. So I think something like this is looking very good. Again, we can come back to our amount slider and bring it down to get the result we like. So I think somewhere around 80 is looking very, very good. Now looking at it, you can see that now we have the red everywhere and we don't want that. We just want to apply it to certain parts of the image. So for this, we're going to use the masking. So coming back to our toning tool, click on masking, click on brush and use the paint. So wherever we're going to paint, that's where this red effect is going to get applied. To start with, start with the big brush with the softness 100 and a strength 100. And to start with, just paint over these empty areas of the background. So let's paint over it nicely so we can save the time. 
and get the initial effect ready. So something like this to start with is very, very good. Now we can adjust the brush for little finer details. So we come back to the size, we bring the strength down to somewhere around 30, and we can zoom in a little bit. So looking at this face, you can see that this part is lit from the light from behind, and this part is lit from the light from the left. So we're only going to paint over the areas which are lit from the red light on the right side of this image. Something like this is starting to look great already. Now we can paint over the hair, of course, as well. And I think that for the hair, we can actually increase the strength to somewhere around 60, just to speed up the process. Something like this is looking good over the ear, over the back of his neck, is looking good. And I think it's looking great. Now strength down again, just paint and create nice gradient at this area and this part of the face. And that's great. Let's zoom out and you can start to see how the effect is coming out. However, we're not finished yet. Let's just make sure that everything is nice. And now we can come back to the adjustments and see if we need to maybe increase the amount to bring a little bit more red up, which I think is the case. And we can also adjust the color a little bit to get more pink and red. I think something like this is looking even better. And finally, looking at it, these parts of the jackets are fine. They are purple. However, this part is still quite blue and we don't want it blue. So let's zoom in. And let's go back to our main toolbar. Now we can close this tool to apply it to the image. And both of the toning tools with the red and blue effect are now in the edit. Now, as we started with the blue, we know it's the first one. So let's click on that. Now we're gonna use the masking and the brush. And we're gonna use the brush to remove this part of the jacket or its clothes and to make sure that it gets the red color here, not the blue. So we're gonna use the erase as we're gonna be erasing this part. Softness to somewhere around 15. And again, let's zoom in and let's just remove this part nicely. Let's paint over this area. And at the moment, we, as you can see, it doesn't have any color at all. However, as soon as we switch on the red layer and the red tool, it will turn to be the red pink color. So it will look a little bit more realistic. Now we can zoom in even further, adjust the size of your brush and just paint over these areas. Still a little bit and that's looking great, great. And that's about it. So now zoom out, open the red tonic tool and you can see how we already got nicely the red here as well. So it's looking even more realistic. Now let's come back to our settings for this one. We are still in adjustments. Let's see if we bring the amount up even more. I think it's looking great. Now with the blue, do we need to bring it down a little bit? No, I think it's all good. So there you have it. That's the result, that's the effect. And this is how you do it for this portrait. But of course you can do it for any other portrait. So let's remind ourselves, what is it we're looking for? Again, we're looking for a portrait that has a darker background and we're looking for a portrait that has been lit by two sources of light. After that, you're gonna use the toning tool. First, you're gonna apply the blue or red. In this case, on this example, we started with the red and apply it across the whole image. After that, we create another toning tool with the opposite color, in this case, the blue. We apply it to the image, use the hue and saturation sliders to get the color we're looking for. And then we use the masking and the brush to adjust the effect so it looks more natural and realistic. And then you can get a result like this. And now it's time to get your gift. If you want to get access to our Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, all you need to do is to head to our website, cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar gift. And there you can download the cheat sheet and start to use it right away. 
And there you have it. So I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share our video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.